I have always loved the idea of topiaries, but I knew that I would never pay for one in the store. So I'm going to make my own little mini version just using this plastic sour cream container. First thing I'm going to do is cover it up with old pieces of newspaper and matte Mod Podge. And I am wrapping the newspaper around the top and the top edge and the bottom edge because I want it to look really nice. Um, you know, as I am covering this thing. So you'll see I'm just using a little bit of my matte Mod Podge. Clearly my brush needs to be cleaned a little bit, but that's fine. So I'm gonna go all the way around the container. And the good thing about using something like a newspaper is it's pretty large. So when you're working with a container that's small, you don't actually need as many strips. So that's what I'm going for here is just covering this guy up. So I'm gonna get him all covered up. I'm looking for some really nice texture as well, so I'm not trying to make my um, piece really smooth. I like the texture. It'll add interest and make it look more like a handmade piece and less like a store-bought piece. So that's the idea, is just to get this all covered up. So here it is, all covered up and dried up. Then I'm just going to paint it with some parchment colored chalk paint. I'm also going to use the Burnt Umber and this metallic brown paint. Um, so I'm going to first do my bottom layer with the parchment color chalk paint and just going to go all over. It will probably end up taking two coats because you'll end up seeing the words through the newspaper. So you want to do two good, nice coats. And then I'm going to go back in with the brown color over that with like a wet brush to give it kind of a cool color washed effect. But yeah, give it two good coats. And don't forget to get the inside, the top inside of the lip because you will see that when the project is um, coming along. So I've got my burnt umber and my metallic brown chalk paint, or not chalk paint, just regular paint, sorry. And I'm just lightly brushing it on. I want that parchment color to sh still show through a little bit. I want it to look like it was just hand painted by like some grandma or something. Again, going for a very high end look, something you would see at Pottery Barn, but definitely nowhere near the budget of Pottery Barn. And even though it has like folds and everything from the newsprint, you will see that, um, <clears throat> That ends up adding to the character of the piece, so I don't really mind so much that I don't have it perfectly laid on down on that plastic container. And like I said, don't forget to get that inside top lip because I almost did for a minute. So you got to get all this in here, the top edge and everything, because you will end up seeing that when the project is complete. So yeah, just going to keep going here, get it all dried up and ready to go. And so then I just have a stick. You can get these anywhere, a uh, styrofoam ball that you will need. Um, and a styrofoam ball really works better than anything else. So that's just an expense of a few, you know, a few dollars for a pack. But that's what you want to do is push that styrofoam ball on that stick and then figure out the height of your stick that you want. <clears throat> so I have these olive branches that I got at the thrift store for a dollar, which I thought was a really good price because it has the pieces of olives on it as well as the leaves so I thought it would look really nice to just clip these off and start pushing them into the styrofoam ball and um, that's what I'm going to do is just clip the all of these pieces off I think I found like three or four of these at the thrift store so you need a few things to get going and then um, yeah you just go from there that's the main thing in a topiary is making the top part look full enough if it doesn't look full enough, it ends up looking cheap. So that's something to keep in mind. Make sure you have enough pieces to, uh, to fill the top part, and then you'll fill in the excess areas with moss. But that's what I'm doing, and I'm just trying to figure out what size I want these branches to be, and I'm just kind of going around in a little pattern to start with. And then filling in, I want to keep vary my heights and my lengths of everything so that it really does look like a custom piece. So that's what I'm doing here. Just going to keep adding these guys here um, until it's all filled in. And then we will focus on the container. That is the next thing we will be doing. So here's the container. I squished some um, foam down in the bottom. So now once I have my height that I want. Um, I've cut my stick down and I'm just going to be using my hot glue 
um, hot glue gun just to push that down in there. And you'll want to hold your stick because it's a little top heavy right now. So you'll want to hold your stick in to make sure it doesn't move or shift and end up looking crooked. So the next part that comes in is the really messy part. And you're just going to take some moss. Um, I'm just using Spanish moss here. That's probably the easiest to work with. Just be careful with your fingers when you're putting hot glue down and then start pushing your Spanish moss to fill in and cover up that styrofoam ball. Um, I have made balls before using like newspaper crumpled up and masking tape. Those don't seem to work as well when you're trying to push things in. Like I said, you really need to go for the styrofoam ball. It's just better to do it that way. So I'm just going all around, um, all around here. And this is like, is that where it gets really, really messy and you need quite a bit more moss than you think. So like a good half a package of it, depending on the size of your package, but you really want to make sure and press that down so it's really secure and spread it out so it really covers everything. This is the part that you could really mess up on and that's when it ends up not looking really nice. Um, so that's what it looks like right now. You can see all the different angles. Um, then I'm just going to fill the bottom part and if you really wanted to, I'm just going to use the same moss that I've been using. If you really wanted, you could go in with like some uh, rocks or something to add a little more weight so it's not so top heavy. Um, that's probably a step I could have done here, but it ended up being fine because the top's a little more heavy than the bottom because the bottom's just, you know, plastic, but right now it doesn't look plastic anymore. So I'm just going to fill this in with the Spanish moss um, and make it look really nice. So that is... That is the topiary. I think it turned out really good, really simple, simple project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me make it and I hope it inspires you to make one of your own. Enjoy.